Brian Otega. So good to see you here in Las Vegas. The last time we saw you though, that awful shoulder injury. Yeah. And you've been out ever since. So just give us an update on how the shoulder's feeling and how you're doing. Uh, shoulder's feeling great. Uh, I'm at like 70% right now. We got maybe three more months realistically before, or maybe two to three. Um, I'm pushing the limits on it, but we're, we're doing everything that we can to, to do the physical therapy part, to take care of my health, to eat right, to train still. Uh, I've been doing every single art now, just at a certain level. And uh, so far, that's made me happy. When you have an injury, um, you do what you can do. Yeah, you know, you're like it, it messes with you. You know, you can't do what you want to do. You can't train. You can't live the life that you normally do day to day. So now, even just to have the a limited freedom is amazing. So I'm just waiting for it to be cleared 100% to get back in there and uh, and do what I do best. How much have you been following the division? in the meantime, and it's not been that long, obviously, but you know, we've seen Volkanovska go up to, to lightweight and challenge there. We've got a new interim champion in Yair Rodriguez. What do you, give me your thoughts on obviously Volk going up and Yair as the interim champion. I mean, it, it, it was something beautiful to watch. Um, I think I even tweeted it. I was watching the card and I go, damn, I, I shared the octagon with both men and I, and I know what it feels like to be in there with them, grabbing them, hitting them, getting hit by them, right? And I, I saw the Islam fight and I'm like, I, I gave him more of a run than, than, than you know, than Islam. So <laughs> yeah. that, that felt, as a, as a fighter, something good, right? Like, okay, you did something great. You did something right. Now you got to make these adjustments. So my mind is also like, okay, what can I do to better myself to get this belt if it is that I face Volkanovski one day? And then when I saw the Yair fight, I said, wow, Yair looks great. And now it's just a matter of fact that it's, it's really the fight that never happened, right? The, before we could even really get it going, the shoulder popped out and it was an unfortunate event. And now it's just all about seeing how it lines up. If, if Volk gets a rematch with Islam, then uh, it looks like I'll probably fight uh, Yair in, in the summer, it could look like. If not, then, you know, yeah. Yair fights Volkanovski and We'll find out who, who's up there that that would be a good fight for me. I was going to say, if, 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 if what happens next is that Yair fights Volkanovski yeah. for the undisputed title, having fought both of them, like you said, how do you see that fight between the two of them going down? You know what? It, it depends on how they decide to go about it. You know, this one's a good fight because they're both strikers. They're both long. They're both comfortable with, with uh, that type of fighting, right? I think Alexander, though, provides... Uh, more weapons to his arsenal that Yair would have to just train for and, and just be alert with in order to do that because Volk can fight you on top, on the ground, everywhere. He's, he, he is, he's an amazing, well-rounded fighter. And uh, he prove, he has proven that in every art now, from wrestling to jiu-jitsu to striking. Um, he, he's phenomenal, you know? You, you got to give credit to where credit's due, and that man deserves it. Absolutely, reason why he's still the pound for pound in many people's eyes. But yeah. in terms of who you would like to face, who would you like to get that back against? The fight, like you said, that didn't really happen or the one where you got so close to getting the finish against Volk? I would like to get both. <laughs> you know, at, at the end of the day, as, as a fighter and someone who has these, right, with the, these tallies on the record that, that it goes against you, um, as a competitor, a fighter, gladiator, warrior, I want to make those right. So it doesn't matter what it looks like on who it looks like. To me, it's just to get back in there, fight those any any of those guys, and if it's not someone that that can bring out the best of me in there again, so I can showcase basically the warrior that I am. Absolutely, and one more featherweight fight that's exciting that for us as as a British broadcaster with Arnold Allen fighting Max Holloway that, mid wow. mid April. I want to get your thoughts on that. that that's going to be a great one. You know, I feel like um, Holloway's had nothing but fights with. Um, Volk really, you know, as as a recent, you know, he he looked great against Yair, you know, and Arnold Allen is just, has he's he's been climbing up, he's been climbing up, he's been proving himself, and uh, this is gonna be another type of fight where it's almost like a Calvin Cater against Holloway, and you're gonna find out if if he is to that caliber or he's not, you know, and when you get to guys who are like Volkanovski, Yair, myself, um, top three, top four. You either go up more or you don't, you know what I'm saying? And then if you don't, then you have to go back to the tra to, to the lab and you got to work on yourself, you know? And uh, that's, that's kind of where we're all at right now, yeah. if you think about it.
Yeah. Well, it is interesting at the top and can't wait to see you fit and healthy and back in there yourself as well. Thanks for giving us some insights you, and, and enjoy the fight night. I will, I will, you too.